For drawing the pliers again, I start with drawing two cuboids for the basic structure of my object. So for finding the proportions, I simplify the overall shape with the cuboids. Just like the last video, which I drew a hammer using the same method. In this case, I'm drawing from real life and I put the object in front of me on the desk. Here I'm using a 14B graphite pencil. Try to use a pencil with a wide and soft tip, just like the previous tutorial. I consider the angle and the perspective of my object, analyze the position of the shape and my point of view towards the shape, of course, to draw the initial structure with cubes. First, I draw a wide rectangle with less height. As you can see, the sides of the rectangle are very narrow. And a little further than the edges, I draw two oblique lines to create a triangle. This triangular shape is for the head of the pliers and it's not quite pointy as you can see in my model. So I'm not going to draw the triangle with a pointy tip. Instead, I draw a little straight line here like this to connect these two endpoints. Then I draw the diameters of the top surface of the cuboid to find the center point. I like to continue this middle line a little further. Then I like to draw some guidelines to help me find the proportions better. You can divide the shape in any way you prefer. Again, by drawing the back plane lines, I turn this cuboid into a transparent one. I explained the reason in the last tutorials. Then I need to draw this back planes of the metal head of the pliers, so I draw another rectangle like this here. Then I find the metal. Let's draw two small lines here. After this, let's darken and clean up some of the strokes. And now it's time to find the shapes and draw the final sketch using these guidelines. But I'm using my HP pencil now because I don't want to have dark outlines so that if any mistake happens, I can erase and fix it. I hope you can see the outlines because they're really light. I'm just going to do it quickly because I want to jump onto the next step. After this, I'm going to use a black polychrome pencil to have sharp and really dark outlines. I don't usually use this for the initial sketch, but right now I don't intend to shade this drawing later and I need to have bolder and darker lines so that you guys see what I'm doing here. You can emphasize on some of your strokes and keep the rest lighter and thinner because as I mentioned before, this gives your drawing depth and linear value.
and that's it this was a short video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video